and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For some Rakdos Aristocrats, we're going to try running this deck back. We played it a couple of weeks ago, maybe, or maybe I guess it would just be about a week ago because we've only had M20 uh, for about 10-ish days. So about a week ago, we played this. It was a donation deck, and it played really well, and it was very impressive. And so we're going to try running it back. We talked at the end of that video about some changes that we're going to make to the main deck, and so we're, we're running with those same changes that we talked about at the time. You know, cutting down on Bantus because we, we had too many Bantus in there. They were too hard to cast with our 22 land deck. And cutting down on Tybalt's as well. Um, just because there's there's not like a ton of life gain and everything. And I just didn't like how many three mana cards that we had. Um, so we added in like another Shock, another Remodi Reveler, and this Heartfire instead. And I, I feel pretty good about this Heartfire. I think that we can do a lot of damage with this thing. Um and so I'm pretty excited to be playing this Heartfire here. But let's see how it goes. We've had a couple of really solid leagues today, today a couple of other not-so-solid leagues. Let's see how Rakdos Aristocrats does for us. So today on our Sunday, fun day, 12-hour stream, we're chilling over in the, con con the traditional constructed queue. Nothing but zero. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Our eighth sub of the day. Getting some hype boats in there. We're doing this 12 hour stream today because we hit 20 sub goals. And um, and so whenever we hit 20 more sub goals, we'll be doing another 12 hour stream. So that's, the, that's our, our sub goals here. So we'll see whenever we get there. We're two more subscribers away from our first sub goal today. If only this was a shock land, that would be a lot better for us. Bear with the bear, getting in there also. Thank you so much. Guys, if you are a subscriber, don't forget to put some hype boats in the chat whenever we get subscribers like this. Want to show some, some love and support for our new subscribers. Thank you very much. Worst case scenario here is they have the Siren to be able to block Dreadhorde Butcher. Any other scenario is good. Cool. Maybe we should just play the Priest last turn. All right, so we know Priest is going to resolve. Let's get Gutter Bones in there, too. Um, so is Bontu better or worse than Angrath for the deck? I mean, it depends. If you have... Um, Sorry, if, if you have like your five mana and you're playing against like a control deck and stuff, you, you'd much rather have your Angrath. But Bantu is a combo card to go along with. Um, it's it's a combo card to go along with. Uh, whatever it's called. Mayhem Devil. Sorry, it's a, it's a combo card to go along with Mayhem Devil that offers some really, really high upside. We have a new sub, TSU. I'm going to go with TSU. Thank you so much for the sub. That's our 10th sub of the day. Hitting our first sub goal. Y'all are awesome. All right, so that means we're going to be buying a pack and cracking it open here after this match.
gonna run out of counter spells eventually. I think. The Chandra is, of course, our our most important card. Because Chandra with Priest is just incredible. So just one card left over there. Hopefully they did not draw a counter spell. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fire. Oh, they're so cute. Definitely possible I should be attacking with more than just those. This one. Cute. Thank you so much for that resub there. Back for another month. Still trying to figure out if I want Risen Reef and Sultai or Teamer. I can tell you, you can't really go wrong with either one. They are both very good. Thank you very much, Lariatus One. Mark this down, sub number 11. Yeah, Priest, Priest and Chandra Zero are awesome together. Priest of Forgotten Gods is just awesome. What's up, Kurtash? All right, so we got some fries. Shock. Noxious Grasp, good against the 4 4. Um. Maybe this is not a Heartfire matchup. I mean, Heartfire kills the 4-4. Four four. I guess it, maybe it is.
Hmm. You just dread horde butcher. Cause dread horde butcher with the. Um. Hmm. Let's cut. One reveler, one butcher. A mayhem devil. I think I like the Tybalt. Giving us a couple of creatures. Tybalt. No, I'm gonna cut two mayhem devils. Just wanna wanna have just lots of ones and two mana one and two mana cards make their counter spells not as good. Yeah, Bantu's probably just getting countered. Honestly, yeah, I probably should just be cutting Bantu. Yeah, especially with the Mayhem Devils. Yeah, I should just be cutting Bantu. Well, Priest is like our best card. We have nothing to support it right now. But shocks are awesome against these flash things. Sure. You don't see how to beat Rakdos with Flash. Yeah, this could be a tough matchup for them. You know, just have so many cheap threats. So we got Priest of Forgotten Gods in here. We're going to need They're shocking for six mana there. We're going to need more creatures. We need to stop drawing lands. That's a good one. and scatter just put it back in my hand cast it again thank you very much so night pack ambusher that was the card that I wanted to make sure to not activate priest before we saw. I'm 
Make them sacrifice that thing. Add the two mana. Put the scutter bones back in our hand. Perfect. Hmm. I guess we play this. Okay. You know what's better than having a plan? Basically anything. Go get him, buddies. This deck is sweet. <laughs> I'm glad y'all really liked the the play that we had. <laughs> y'all are awesome. Don't worry. I brought company. Put the mask over on this thing that's gonna disappear anyway. And sacrifice it. This is gonna disappear. Boom. Our our priest just came in, it was summoning sick. We couldn't activate the priest. Alright, wanna know. Oh, I should update that. Not not oh no, wanna know. Alright, well maybe this is the answer to these Simic Flash decks that we keep on playing against everywhere. We gotta go a lot a lot lower. Gotta go under them. This deck's cool. I like looking at these cards. Rakdos! This is the matchup where Firebrand is really good. The red matchup. Not Firebrand, uh, the other one. The other one drop. Footlight Fiend, sorry. I was talking about Footlight Fiend. Footlight Fiend is, is strong here for being a one drop, you know, better than I expected the last time we played it. Assistants are painfully sloppy. The uh, one of the biggest holes of Rakdos decks previously was mono red. Like this was the matchup that Rakdos just really, really struggled with. I remember last time we played this, we beat it though. Maybe one, at least once, maybe twice. I was bored anyway. But this is this is just going to be a tough matchup for us, to be honest. Thanks, Padawar. Rude. Wow. All right, so they got Frenzy. Certainly feels like they have Frenzy in hand. The reason why I'm saying that is because they, they just wasted a coil on a, a crappy 1-1, one -one, so they wanted to get cards out of their hand. Certainly seemed like. Chandra Mayhem Devil is awesome. We are sacrificing to 
creature, so we'll deal two damage to the Lava Runner. So they could have made a block there. They actually had a free block. Could have saved a point of life. Throw another punch, and you're gonna get burned. What the heck? Hey, these little guys are great. So one, two. I guess, I guess I should have Mask of Immolation first and dealt one and one. So then I could have attacked with the Mayhem Devil. All right, well, I, I did that one a little too hastily. Dang. All right, I messed that up. Yeah, we can kill other things with the mask. I could have just killed them, though. Likely killed them. So if I would have, if I would have played Mask first, killed the the two one and dealt one damage upstairs there at eight, I zero, I attack out. They block a one one, they take four. Heartfire kills them. Um, if they would have chump blocked the Mayhem Devil, they still would have gone to six. Heartfire still would have killed them. Right? Yeah, yeah. Heartfire would have killed them. So yeah, if I would have just played the the Mask of Immolation first, I had lethal. All right. Well, I made a good play last game. Made a bad play this game. That's okay. Still in a good spot. Spot not quite as good. Can I sack a planeswalker? Yeah. Um Hmm. Bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Go get them, buddies. Hey, Poppy. Glad you glad you enjoy the YouTube channel. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for catching it live. Darn. Darn again. Who just draw a creature? Uh, any creature we you know minus get the heart fire. Any creature. I can't minus heart fire and sack the Chandra because they just because they drew that shock. So them them having that shock also to put the Chandra here. Chandra's gonna die whenever I minus two. I can't I can't sacrifice Chandra. Don't worry. I brought company. It's a sad. Yeah.
Yeah. No matter what I do with Mask, I could only do two damage to them. No matter what route I did with Mask, I could only do two. Man, we were so close there. I may lose this now. I, I could. I had a, a way to win this earlier. We need to draw any creature or a shock. I'm the best fire starter there is. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. All right, draw shock. Footlight Fiend. Judith. Will do. As long as they don't have instant speed removal. Yay. No instant speed removal. All right, let's bring in this extra shock. Shock, Chandra's. I think I'm supposed to play coils. No, I'm not going to play Duress. Because these games will go longer. We don't want... Like, if they have Frenzy in play, drawing Duress is a dead draw. We don't want to draw a, a dead card later. Honest, Priest and Mayhem Devil are two cards that I don't love here. Because they usually trade down mana-wise. You know, like Priest getting shocked. Mayhem Devil... Mayhem Devil getting st lightning striked. Bantu can be pretty important with the 5 6 body. Due to the same kind of thing, getting shocked. And usually against red, we don't have the creatures to sacrifice either. So I'm going to take out the priest and trim one Judith, one devil. The tip ball was, was okay for us. I don't know if I want another one, though. Uh, Gutter Bones attacks the opponent. It's a 2 1. And you can get it back. Still a lot of reasons to play Gutter Bones without Priest. So, if they have if they have lava coil, then playing Dreadhor Butcher will be bad. I'm gonna do it. They could have Phoenix. I should probably save my coil. They played two lava coils game one, but I, I like where your head's at. They don't have lava coil. That's that's what we're we're saying. They don't have they don't have no lava coil. 
No, I don't think Squee would be good in the deck. I think Squee costs too much mana. Hmm. So using a shock just to turn on... Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Well, our, our Dreadhorde Butcher did trade for two shocks and a Firebrand, even though we took three damage also. That's not bad. All right. They didn't play a land drop. We're, we're going to get rid of this thing. Definitely getting rid of that before they can start adding mana with it. I need to stop drawing lands. Were we supposed to take a land out on the on the draw here? We did. Can we do 16 damage with an Acolyte of Flame? Unlikely. They just didn't play anything. It was just... Just like another Frenzy on top. Oh, they're so cute! I don't think they have cards that cost 5 mana. Maybe it's just Lava... Oh, I bet it was Lava Coil on top and they couldn't, couldn't actually cast Lava Coil. I could see that. No, there's no regulator in the, in here. Emulation's a good one. Whenever we just have lots of mana. Yeah, I could have dealt five with the heart fire previously. Decide to save it in case they had, you know, like whatever creature that we wanted to. Maybe be able to clear out to help Chandra tokens or something. No, don't, don't kill my Chandra. Rabbits. That was bad. No. Next time, you're toast. Ugh.
Yeah, if our opponent just attacked, yeah, hit us instead of Chandra, they would have killed us. Yep. I can't I can't really imagine that they were not dead here. I guess it's possible they were not dead. That's another land on top. They have nothing but like two and three mana cards here. They don't have a one mana spell with Frenzy to be able to blow up Frenzy and cast. And then we, uh, no, it looks like they have a one mana spell. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was Dreadhorde Butcher. Dreadhorde Butcher was the card we needed. Oh, I thought that was Dreadhorde Butcher. That was the one that I was... I was really hoping for. Man, if I if I would have cast the Heartfire earlier and dealt the five, actually we would have won this. If I would have just gone with five upstairs with the devil, because then yeah, this would have been two with immolation and footlight fiend, we would have de dealt two. Because it's, it's just five right now. Like, you know, sacrificing it just deals five. And so we could we can put him down to two, but yeah, we would have had the extra the extra two from the from the mask and the other trigger. It did matter. That was a tough call whether or not to use the heart fire right there. And you know, I as you can tell I decided not to, and it cost us. Not sure if I really yeah, no I do. I do. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, do I want another one of these Chandras over Tybalt on the play? I think so. That Chandra's been pretty impressive. No, four man Chandra should definitely be in. The only way that my opponent's killing four mana Chandra is with damage, and if they kill four mana Chandra with damage, we get to do the damage to them also. It's very nice. Weak. Get that Phoenix out of there. No Phoenix for you. I 
I know, Mayhem Devil being on a uni... Yeah, the Devil on the unicycle. Pretty awesome. Kind of use that fourth land about now. I guess I can't equip mask, can I? Kill those things. They're down to their three cards. Ugh, gross. You wanna go, tough guy? Sit back and watch it burn. I'm not too scared of that one. No, no spark harvest in here. That big Chandra is really annoying. Okay, okay. Our opponent hasn't drawn any Chain Whirlers, at least. I I'll, I would think they'd be playing Chain Whirlers. They just haven't drawn any. But I guess... I guess maybe not. Maybe they were just playing War Boss instead. Maybe they didn't want to craft Chain Whirler with it rotating out kind of soon.
Uh, finishing up at midnight tonight. Gonna be bad for you. Ugh. Come on, that's game. That's unfortunate. Good games. Turned out discarding that fourth land to, to like the Remadi Reveler just really hurt that whole time. Not ever having that fourth land. But yeah, four mana Chandra is awesome. That's why we had those in our deck too. Well, if <laughs> not attacking with the Dreadhorde Butcher would have meant my opponent had a war boss that it got to attack with two creatures. That was. Should have, should have kept blocker. Could not be farther from the truth. We would have been just so dead if we would have not attacked with the dreadhorde butcher and let them keep war boss. But anyway, I mean that that game was. Yeah, it's, it was definitely a really close game. Definitely a tough one, and not. Um. Not sacrificing the Mayhem Devil in the game two. That costs us the game two, which you know therefore costs us the match. Ripjaw Raptor? Gotta be kidding me. Dinosaur. We need more creatures. Not lands. We're playing 22 lands for a reason. We don't need seven of them. With Priest of Forgotten Gods, the immolation doesn't isn't really anything but a, a one one. This is talk about a flood here. Eight of twenty two lands. Dang. We're gonna win most of the games that we have turn two. 
we're going to win most of the games that we have turn two Priest of Forgotten Gods against the mono green deck. Just not this one. The more, the messier. Seven lands. Man. All right, we'll get the grasp in here. Let's get this other Chandra. Maybe another Tibalt. These things can just produce multiple creatures for us. No heart fire. No shocks. And get it. No, get these things out. All right, let's hope for Priest of Forgotten Gods again. Come on, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Yeah, it looked just like Mono Green Dinos. Uh, they may have been another color, you know, like Green Red and didn't have the red mana. Yay, priest. Keep. Could use lands and or cheaper creatures. Yep, so they were they are green red. Mountain, mountain. Let's do this. Hmm. Doesn't seem like they have any dual lands in their deck. I guess I should be playing the coils. Doesn't seem like they have any dual lands. All right, game number three. Uh, yeah. We saw it. Oh, they do have a dual land. They have one. One dual land. My plan here is to trade the two Footlight Fiends for the Marauding Raptor and the Llanowar Elf. Let's 
kind of save Noxious Grasp and for a big big green dino instead of just taking out a Drover. You know, we take out Drover, then they play Ripjaw, and then I'm like, uh, what am I doing? So in case of... So we traded a Footlight Fiend with a Dahmer's Ambush. That's pretty good. Not sure if that was the one to coil. Just all removal? Dang. All right, want to draw land. Come on, deck, draw land. You draw land, I draw land. No, not a land. Um, land. Uh, well, they get to sack. They get to sack land war off though. If we would have just drawn a land. Ugh. The drawing land would have taken out the Marauding Raptor and the Land War Elf. I guess they still would have the Reggie, but... This is sad. Sad. Uh, darn. So close. So close. Yeah, we had. I'm just pretty unlucky there. So, game two. All right, so we win. We win match number one. Match number two against the mono red deck. We win game one. Game number two, um, they like you know they kill my mayhem devil. I could have sacrificed it to deal five damage to them with a heart fire. I don't. And then, you know, like five turns later, it turns out that if I would have sacrificed that devil, we would have had lethal because we needed we needed that extra couple damage that we would have gotten. So, lose that, and then lose a real close game three, and then match number three, the, you know, the first game, we just draw seven of our 22 lands right away. Like, we had turn two priest we, against, like, their mono green opener, like, with them not having removal and us having priest, like, our chances of winning that are so, so high, but we just 
<laughs> we just only had lands. We couldn't find uh, spells, you know, like, so, the, so that's how that one went. And then, you know, so then we lost that match. Kind of unlucky there. Say the Mayhem Devil wasn't amazing for us here. It was a little disappointing. No, we didn't see the Bantu, and that's okay. Bantu is like a you know a combo card that you know can can pay out, can pay off. I don't love the Bantu, but it, it does give us some card advantage for like you know like those times when we're flooding out, times that we're activating Priest of Forgotten Gods. I could certainly see cutting Bantu though. Absolutely, playing Gutter Bones, playing another Gutter Bones, maybe cutting a land. And if like with that being the case, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the kind of stuff that just happens. You know, they, these are just some close matches, and if they don't go your way, they don't go your way, kind of thing. Sonar with gifting out five subs. Thank you so much, Sonar. Thank you very, very much. Everybody get some hype in the chat for Sonar. Bringing the hype here in this 12-hour stream. Remadi gives us another creature to sacrifice to Priest of Forgotten Gods. Like You, you need to run a lot of creatures with Priest of Forgotten Gods. And Remadi helps you there. If, if you'd get rid of Bantu for another Gutter Bones, like, basically, if you get rid of one Bantu, one Mayhem Devil for two Gutter Bones, like, honestly, this is probably just an upgrade. Getting two Gutter Bones in here, cutting a Devil, cutting a Bantu, and in, in, that, in that part, then you can probably cut a land with Remadi Reveler also kind of helping you out. Maybe you can cut a land there. Or just get another one of these Chandras in. The the four mana Chandra, the three mana Chandra was just awesome all the time. Uh, this deck should probably just be playing four of the Chandra. It just works so well with Priest, Devil, and so on. Maybe just get rid of the, that heart fire. I was excited about that Heartfire, but honestly, it really wasn't that good. You have a lot of other things you're wanting, going to want to be sacrificing your creatures to. I think, I think this is what I would do next time. Try Keep it with 22 lands, but play this play not, play the fourth one of the Ishandras in the main. Make it another Noxious Grasp in the sideboard. And just get more Gutter Bones in here. Gutter Bones are awesome to sacrifice and everything. Cool. Yeah, I like that. I think that's next time we try this deck. I like those changes there. All right, Sonar, thank you so much. Thank you so much there. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Spark Harvest? No, not not really too interested in Spark Harvest. I think we can kill... For the most part, we get to kill things without it. Um, and the fact that it's sorcery speed and everything... Um, No, Reveler is good early also. Like, Reveler is good either early or later. You know, like, if, you, if you're if you missing land drops or hitting too many lands. Like, Reveler... Yeah, Reveler is nice. Mask is the kind of card... So, like, the question is, like, why don't we play three Mask, two Reveler? Mask is the kind of card that the first the first copy is good, as we've talk, talked about before. But drawing multiple Mask of Immolations... Like, the second Mask of Immolation is not a good draw step. Like, it's it's very weak, the second one. Because you don't really need, you don't need to. So while while drawing mask of emulation is usually good, not always, but it's usually a pretty good card. Uh, the second the second copy you really don't want to draw. So um, but there we go. Thanks, Sonar. Yeah, we are getting close to that next sub goal there. All right, uh, if you're watching Rakdos Aristocrats here later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we had some pretty cool games, some some really cool turns and everything in this video. Uh, this is a good one to play, but uh, you know we're just a little little off there with the one and two, and yeah, you know, that's how it goes. But again, thank you very much for watching. 
here. Hope you liked it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. That's it here for Actos Aristocrats. I'll see you for another video.